It's time for day number two of exploring Valparaiso. We're just about to leave our delightful Airbnb to head out for the day. Nice TV there. Makes change to actually have some time to watch some TV. And I'll take you outside to show you the view. It's a beautiful day today. And that hill at night is absolutely delightful. It's just lit up in twinkly lights. So yesterday we showed you around Valparaiso. Today we're gonna to show you around Viña del Mar. We're currently staying right on the edge of Viña del Mar. And there's a few places of interest to go and see. And there's lots of nice places to go and eat. And we're also gonna show you a bit of the coastline because there's a few cool places to go and see along there as well. Yeah, but first of all, we've had a stressful morning trying to book flights, it's pretty hectic. So we're gonna start off by going and getting ourselves some brunch, have a little relax. And we found a really nice place online that has these lovely little brunch rolls. So hopefully that'll be a good start to the day. Get some coffee in us as well. <laughs> So normally we would walk, but it's a 40 minute walk from where our apartment is to the nice part of Vina del Mar. So we grabbed a quick Uber. We're going to have to walk back later because it's not that cheap to get Ubers here in Chile. Chile is definitely a lot more expensive than Argentina. But we're here. We made it to this nice little cafe that we saw online. Some coffee and some brunch. Actually, it's more like lunch now because it's getting late. <laughs> We just ordered our food at Noosa Bowl and I was so excited, they have so many different bowls. There was one where you can make your own, which I could never have figured out without the help of the staff here. The guy was so patient and went through all the Spanish ingredients with me. So I've managed to make myself this beautiful poke bowl. Uh, I put like a split of rice and a lettuce base and then I've got some grilled broccoli, some wok vegetables, a couple of balls of avocado and some beetroot hummus and then I've got a garlic sauce. Um, I've got some actual beetroot shredded up and some like sprinkled nuts over it. Oh, it looks so good, I'm so excited. And I got a fresh berry fruit smoothie and a cappuccino on its way as well. And I love that it's all in recyclable packaging, like the bowls. Oh, this one's nice and warm, this is Craig's obviously. He's got like a lovely chicken curry, which it smells incredible. I'm gonna take it away from my face now, <laughs> but that looks amazing, yum. And he also got the same as me, the same berry smoothie and uh, cappuccino and um, came to about 35 pounds which is not that cheap obviously but it is like really good quality food and lovely service and this is our treat for the day so so happy definitely really pleased i found this place online highly recommend coming here they've got this cute little seating area there's no actual inside seating area open today i don't know if they have one normally but it's like a little window where you order from the menu is huge suitable for vegetarians, vegans, and meat lovers, or chicken lovers as Craig is. <laughs> so yeah, so happy. We're Craig and Kirsty, a couple who have been on the road for the past three years sharing our adventures around the world. Right now we're making our way through South America and exploring everything it has to offer. If you enjoy seeing new places and real experiences, please subscribe and welcome to the adventures of Tide Not Travellers. It's so nice walking around the streets of Viña del Mar and to be honest we found that being north of the river um, there's quite a lot more going on and it's a bit less hectic if yeah. you're just south of the river which our apartment is right on the edge of Viña del Mar. Which is why we didn't walk. <laughs> it's where, yeah, where the, uh, the bus terminal is and you arrive, it's all quite hectic there and there's a lot going on in the streets and there's a lot of traffic. But in this area, it's just delightful. Yeah. Everyone's eating, yeah, everyone's eating and drinking outside El Fresco. There's fruit and veg stands everywhere and flower stalls. So nice. <laughs> Even though we're out of season in this part of South America, there's still so much going on outdoors. We just made our way here to the seafront and I haven't seen much of the Pacific coast, so I'm really excited to finally be here. You can smell that fresh sea air as we're arriving now. Such a nice familiar smell <laughs> that I've not smelled for such a long time. It's so nice.
There's so many people on the seafront here and on the beach just looking out to sea, enjoying the views. Great sunset spot here. Enjoying the weather <laughs> and uh, just looking across the bay there. That is Valparaiso where we were yesterday. And today we're just going to walk a little bit further north along the coast. There's a couple of places to see and uh, somewhere quite spectacular that we're looking to end the day. I touched it. How was it? So much different to any other ocean. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. It's pretty cold. This is the kind of beach to come to. It's too hot like to be in what it was in, but the water is too cold to go in. I don't really want to get in there. But this kind of beach is beautiful just to walk along, see the sunset and watch the crashing waves. And if you have a dog, perfect beach to bring a dog and run along here. I can see loads of them. It's just a nice place to be. I'm feeling very relaxed here in Villa del Mar right now. <laughs> so nice. Although I feel like the sea is going to get me. <laughs> I feel like the ocean is going to get me. I keep calling it the sea. <laughs> it's the Pacific. Jumping in our Uber, time to head a little bit further up the coast. Hola. Hey. Uh, el patio. Gracias. Ciao. Just got an Uber 10 minutes further north up the coast to a coastal area called Reñaca and we're going to a little juice bar that we've been recommended called El Patio. Relax and chill by the stairs. <laughs> it's like in a little mason jar. <laughs> it's really fun. Okay, mason jar juice to go. It's got mango, orange, pineapple, and coconut milk. So, yeah, yum. Now we're going to go drink it over there with some views of the ocean. Not quite an ice cream, but a nice healthier smoothie instead. <laughs> Nice. Choose your weapon. <laughs> Cheers. That is so good, so fresh. It's got a little kick to it, like some ginger in there. Yeah, definitely nice. some ginger in there. That was tasty. Ah, oh, with views out across the <laughs> Pacific, living the dream. Oh, this is a nice spot, I like it. Yeah. I think Valparaiso yesterday was awesome, but Vina del Mar is more like a typical beachy, kind of relaxation vibes. Yes. But definitely you've got to, you've got to do both in this area. Yeah. Yesterday for was sure. a cool day. It was really fun running around and chasing the ants. <laughs> and today is just a, a relaxation day. So nice. They're absolutely right. Valparaiso is about history and culture yeah. and Viña del Mar is all about the beach yeah. and the chilling on the beach. Give yourself at least a day or two for each so looking out across these just beautiful rolling waves, wave after wave. I can't believe there's not more people in there on a surfboard. There's a lot of people running along here. There is a lovely like boulevard or uh, esplanade. I don't know what you call it, but it's a lovely space to do that and a really nice temperature today for that. So there's a lot of joggers on the beach and a lot of people running and cycling along here. So yeah, beautiful esplanade. Had a really nice hour or so watching the waves roll in on Rinyaka Beach with that smoothie. We're just going to jump in another Uber now, a little bit further up the coast to our final stop of the day. Hola. Hola. Gracias. Buenas noches. And 10 minutes further up the road, we've arrived at the sand dunes of Concon. They look absolutely huge. So we thought we would come here, climb the sand dunes and watch the sunset over the Pacific. <laughs> what a day. I can't wait, it looks really fun. Oh, it's gonna be a slog. 
oh, slightly regretting that a couple of days ago we did the first workout we've done for a long time and now my legs are feeling it. <laughs> Oh, that's incredible and worth it, worth that effort. Oh, glad I've had a good meal earlier, but wow, look at these views. What a way to end our day here in Bina Dama. Just in time for golden hour and sunset over there. This is one of the most insane coastal features I've ever seen. You've just got this huge wedge of sand that drops off so steeply into the Pacific. And then what a sunset spot. And you can see everyone knows it. Everyone knows that this is the place to come for sunset. And even the inland views over there, just wow with the mountains and a few skyscrapers. And just down to the south of us, you've got this area that we've just come through with a load of apartment block development. And then further down the coast, back to Renyaka, Viña del Mar, all the way round to Valparaiso, where we were yesterday. So we're going to sit here and watch the sun go down. Mm -hmm. 